Hello everyone. How's everyone today? Welcome. Has everyone slept, enjoyed themselves, probably party, drank last night? So what I'm talking about, I'm going to talk about paying the price to be master of your destiny. Has anyone got Twitter here? Does anyone tweet? If you could please tweet, we are EVC Villainous uh, and at Alex Fafega and tweet about this. So well, I'll talk about myself. I'm a multi-award serial entrepreneur. I run Kamuzi, a multi-award nominated technology startup in UK and US. And I also have a AFMAC, a digital marketing and app and growth consultancy for startups. But I'm also paying the price to be the master of my destiny. So this is what I do. I speak across around the world a lot. I do this quite a lot. Um, so entrepreneur, what is an entrepreneur? This is what the dictionary says. A person who sets up a business or businesses taking on financial risks in the hope of profit. I think that's a bit boring for me. Our definition of an entrepreneur, a person who creates an opportunity, a person who has taken life into their hands, a person with a he very high level of insanity. You have to be crazy to be an entrepreneur. A person with self-belief. A person who works hard. A person who's committed to their goals. A person who believes in teamwork, paying the price to be master of their destiny. Being an entrepreneur is neither a part-time or a full-time job. It's actually a lifestyle. Who wants to be an entrepreneur? Does anyone here want to be an entrepreneur? Raise up hands, I want to see more confidence, come on. <laughs> Well, who wants to be their own boss? Who's tired working for someone else's dream? A new world awaits you. <laughs> However, becoming an entrepreneur isn't easy. <laughs> but becoming an entrepreneur isn't impossible. If anyone tells you something's impossible, just look. Look at it. I am impossible. So when someone tells you impossible, tell that person, I am possible. Right back at you. <laughs> a price must be paid. Four things they never tell you about entrepreneurship. You will be lonely. Fourth, second, you may never see wealth. If your motivation is to make money and have power, then you'll be very unhappy as an entrepreneur. If your motivation is to make the world a better place, you can become a happy entrepreneur, a person who strives to achieve something. It might take you years, many years. You have to manage people. You see, with me, this is a, my website, so this is my team. You know, this is the team of one of my ventures. And what you've got there is that I'm the youngest, I'm actually 19. You know, and everyone there is probably older than me, 21, 22, 23. I can't really have a young team. However, what you've got to understand is that you have people with different personalities and different, they like doing stuff different ways. They might have worked at another startup and they like things in that sort of way. You have to be able to keep yourself calm. You know, the temperament. Managing people is probably the hardest things to do. And this is where you start finding yourself as an entrepreneur to be able to manage people. But have no fear. We entrepreneurs have superhuman strength. Who still wants to be an entrepreneur? I want to see more hands. Come on, it's exciting. Come on. <laughs> you know? If yes, let's continue. Five superpowers entrepreneurs have. We are confident. We are very confident. We are proud of what we do. We are entrepreneurs. We inspire brilliance and excellence in others. You see, I will be, if I never make a million in my life, I would be quite happy if I touch a million people to go out there and become entrepreneurs and live the dreams that they want to live. You know, that is what we inspire brilliance and excellence in others and other people that we meet. We have no fear. We have no fear at all. We make our dreams come true. This is what being master of our destiny, we put our lives in our hands and we make our dreams come true. We are innovative, especially where predominantly all of us here are very young. We have better ideas than the ones who were older before. Especially we've come from the digital native era where we live in our life on our phone. We are very smart. We are very innovative. So this is the key. To be the master of your destiny, you must be able to have the passion. You must be able to have that vision. You must be able to have self-belief, flexibility. You must be able to break rules, be a rebel. 
tenacity and controlling of fear. Entrepreneurship is living a few years of your life like most people won't, so that you can spend the rest of your life like most people can't. Who still wants to be an entrepreneur? You know, who's willing to work 168 hours a week for their goals? Is anyone willing to do so? Oh, why, why was there lesser hands? <laughs> Say this after me. I sacrifice. Louder, guys. I can't hear you guys. Confidence. Confidence. I sacrifice. I work hard. I work hard. I work smart. I work smart. I am a professional. I am a professional. I am building my empire. I am building my empire. I am master of my destiny. I am master of my destiny. I am an entrepreneur. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm very sure. Thank you very much. So again, thank you, thank Mr. You. Pepega. Thank you. And maybe some of you have some questions for him. Any questions? Hey. So. Oh, about yourself. because I'll tell you one thing, you meet a lot of entrepreneurs that will talk about themselves. Some might tell you a good story, but some will make them life sound better than everyone else's. And I work in technology, so you can put me in Google, loads of stuff will come up, articles, loads of things. I don't really like talking about myself, I like talking about others. I like talking about you, the person itself, who's actually coming here saying that I want to do this, I want to be entrepreneurial, I want to be an entrepreneur. You know, it's better for me to talk about you and make sure you have that confidence and that power to say, I want to be the master of my destiny. Is that, is, is that a good enough answer for you? Fair enough. Any other questions? Where did you get your positive attitude from? Um, Where so often you think that, like, this is just a really good positive self talk that you gave us. Like, it's really inspiring that you can do anything you want. And normally people are not that positive. <laughs> um, you know, I think this being a comedy an entrepreneur, it 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 takes it, it it shocks you, especially when you have to come from something you have you, especially as a young person, if you've got no clarity, you've got no experience, are you going to pitch to an investor saying, "I've got this next million dollar idea"? And you have to be able to have that confidence and that positivity to make sure, okay, I really like this. Especially, I can't come here to speak to you about being positive if I don't show an example of my actions being positive. So I think it's very, you know, the room needs to be filled with positive, positivity. So, yeah. Any other questions? So when did you start? If you were 19, did you start when you were 10? Um... <laughs> So, okay, I'll tell you how I started. Um, I went to work as an IT guy in a primary school at 16. I, was, um, I used to hack into stuff. So I was in secondary school, I don't know what they call it here, high school, elementary school, and I used to hack into um, computers in school. So I used to hack into my teacher's computers to get some work and homework and stuff. And then I kind of got in trouble for it. So what I decided to do was go work in the school and then I fixed a big software problem. And then what I started doing was developing mobile apps and selling it to companies for marketing. And then what happened is that I saw that music was getting destroyed by technology. So we went into music and started developing sort of applications for music artists, a lot of big American and UK European artists as well. And then that's how I got into business really. I literally broke rules, was very confident, scared at first, didn't know what to do went through the rounds which I think you will go through. You see, one thing about being, on, if you want to be an entrepreneur, prepare to be broke, poor. Prepare to be poor the first month of entrepreneurship or something. You know, but that's how I got into it. I literally just went along with it. You know, literally the best key to do this, if you have your dreams, just go, go with it. Go with it. There's no, you need to be smart, you need to know maths, you need to know, just go with it. You know, as long as you can execute that idea, I think that's the most important thing, execution of the idea that you have is what will make you successful. Is that a good answer for your question? Any other questions, sorry? Okay, sweet. Thank you very much. <laughs>